Welcome to our series of question and answer about spermatogenesis. With the help of this video, we will provide you with some deep information about spermatogenesis. So just carefully watch each and every question and try to get the answer yourself. And if you are unable to answer any of the question, we will give you the answer and will share a lot of important information about spermatogenesis. So let's get started. Level 1 Question number 1 When does the process of spermatogenesis begin? Option A At fetal stage Option B At puberty Option C At infant stage Option D At childhood The correct answer is option B at puberty. In testis, spermatogonia produce sperms by spermatogenesis that begins at puberty. Question number 2. Which of the following cells goes through mitosis during spermatogenesis? Option A. Spermatozoa. Option B. Primary spermatocyte. Option C. Secondary spermatocyte. Option D. Spermatogonia. The correct answer is option D. Spermatogonia. Spermatogonia divide by mitosis to form primary spermatocytes which go through meiosis 1 to produce secondary spermatocytes and then they divide again through meiosis 2. Question number 3. How many spermatozoa are generated during spermatogenesis from a single primary spermatocyte? Option A. 4 Option B 3 Option C 2 Option D 1 The correct answer is option A 4 Four equally sized haploid spermatozoa are produced from a single diploid spermatogonium. Question number 4. Which cells are produced as a result of meiosis 2 during spermatogenesis? Option A. Secondary spermatocytes. Option B. Primary spermatocytes. Option C. Spermatids. Option D. Spermatozoa. The correct answer is option C. Spermatids. Four haploid spermatids are produced when secondary spermatocytes go through meiosis 2. Question number 5. What procedure transforms spermatids into spermatozoa? Option A. Spermiation. Option B. Spermiogenesis. Option C. Spermiolysis. Option D. Ovulation. The correct answer is option B, spermiogenesis. Transformation of spermatids into spermatozoa is called spermiogenesis. Question number 6. The process of release of sperms from seminiferous tubules is called? Option A, spermiation. Option B, Spermiogenesis Option C Spermiolysis Option D Ovulation
The correct answer is option A, spermiation. After spermiogenesis, sperm heads become embedded in the Sertoli cells and are finally released from the seminiferous tubules by the process called spermiation. Question number 7. Identify the first haploid stage during spermatogenesis. Option A. Primary spermatocyte. Option B. Spermatogonia. Option C. Secondary spermatocyte. Option D. Spermatid. The correct answer is option C, secondary spermatocyte. Primary spermatocytes and spermatogonia are diploid. As we previously learned, the primary spermatocyte undergoes meiosis 1 and produces haploid secondary spermatocytes. Spermatids are also haploid, but they are not first formed haploid stages. Question number 8. Spermatogenesis starts at the age of puberty due to the significant increase of a hypothalamic hormone called Option A. FSH Option B. LH Option C. Both FSH and LH Option D. GNRH The correct answer is option D, GNRH. When a child reaches puberty, the hypothalamus releases gonadotropin-releasing hormone, which works on the anterior pituitary gland and induces the release of the two gonadotropins, FSH and LH. Question number 9. LH and FSH acts on respectively Option A. Leydig cells and Sertoli cells Option B. Sertoli cells and Leydig cells Option C. Spermatogonia and spermatids Option D. Spermatids and spermatogonia The correct answer is option A, Leydig cells and Sertoli cells. LH acts at the Leydig cells and stimulates synthesis and secretion of androgens. FSH acts on the Sertoli cells and stimulates secretion of some factors which help in process of spermiogenesis. Question number 10. What is the function of androgens? Option A. Stimulate the process of spermiation. Option B. Maintenance of the function of male sex accessory ducts and glands. Option C. Stimulate the process of spermatogenesis. Option D. Both B and C. The correct answer is option D, both B and C. Androgens stimulate the process of spermatogenesis and maintain the function of male sex accessory ducts and glands. So this was the level 1 of question and answer about spermatogenesis. We hope that you have learnt a lot through this video and ready to learn much more with our upcoming videos. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll meet you again with our next video. If you like these videos, make sure you subscribe, share with a friend and hit the like button.